Hello people, welcome to my um, greenifying tutorial based on the musical Wicked. Now just in case that you um, guys didn't know what Wicked was, um, basically it's a musical on the good witch and the bad witch from the Wizard of Oz. Um, today I'm going to be showing you how to um, do makeup from Alphaba. So basically this is what you need. First of all you definitely need um, green paint. Um, it's good for your skin so there's no worries it's water based so it's completely light and it's totally good for your skin um, the other thing that you need is green nail varnish which I've pretty much already done to save time um, that's definitely the one thing that you should do th first um, I've also um, it's a good tip to do before you're putting on your green paint is foundation it's really good because it just makes it easier to take the paint off when you've done it. it's just like a normal layer sort of thing um, the other thing that you need is um, talcum powder weirdly enough um, I'll explain more about this later and you will need um, cotton wool pads so you can get these anywhere from the shop as you know and um, I've also got my makeup, which um, eyeshadow, eyeliner, lip gloss, and mascara, which I'll also tell you about that when it comes nearer time. So basically, what you need is um, what you need is is you obviously need a brush and water. Basically, the water actually keeps it the water based paint wet and it just makes it easier to put on your skin so basically this is what we need to do we need to just uh, dip it in like this dip your paint in just like just no really any proper technique to it just dip it in really and put it on your face just like this uh, there's no actual direction to it you know just put it on as you fancy uh, make sure you get into all the nuts and cran crannies and just do it like this. Um, I'm not going to do my um, hands and my neck. Well, I think I might do my neck. Depends how I feel. Um, just get into the nuts and crannies right there. Um, it's really, really easy to put on as you can see. So but one thing you mustn't do is get it in your eyes like I've just done ow it's alright it doesn't hurt with me just exaggerating because I'm a drama queen um, I can relate to the character Alphabet quite a lot because I used to get bullied in school um, and um, I, I think the um, show gives a really good message that just because somebody's different on the outside and stuff like that and you know that doesn't mean to say that you can just judge them just by looking at them on the outside because there's always an inside but that, that's the message so um, I'm also um, dressing up as Alphabet on Halloween, uh, my dress that I'm doing is not exactly being brought, I'm actually making it by hand. <laughs> Where do I get it from? Hmm. But yeah, um, the show is really good, so if you haven't seen it, um, I recommend going and seeing it because it is an amazing show. Not a lot of shows make me cry, but this one did. Um, ever since I've seen Alphaba, or the person that played her, is, um, I've always wanted to play her ever since I've seen her as I have been. I've done drama for 10 years now. I've been going to do drama and going on stage and things like that so also it's also important to do your ears it's really annoying because it feels really funny yeah. 
Oh, and there's one thing that I should have told you first, girls. You know when you, yeah, you should on it, wear your hair up. <laughs> but yeah. Um, that's basically it really with the defunification. If you see any nuts or crannies, just fill them in. Just like that. It doesn't don't matter if you've missed your lips, I will show you how to do those later when it comes to the eye makeup and the lip makeup. There you go. Just like that. Yeah, it kinda of get a bit messy sometimes. But the more you do it and it's just easier. Just like that. And the nose as well, sometimes they're really, really hard to get into the nose area and get into the nuts and crannies, what you've missed with the eyes. And But like I said, don't worry, you know, getting it in the eyes, it's completely safe, you know, so don't about getting it in your eyes it's completely safe that's the beauty of it because <laughs> when I first brought this paint another dip in water right there when I first brought the paint and I first put it in I was like oh no my eyes what am I going to do it's going to sting but it didn't really bother that's the beauty of it and it just gives a tiny finish just like that So that's done. Just like that. Like I said, I would do my hands, but um, it's a bit messy. So, you know, it's just completely the same with the hands as you do with the face. So, um, I will, you know, just take it from there basically. Um, now that it comes to the messy bit, this is the actual messy bit believe it or not. Let me just put this top on. I don't want green paint getting everywhere. No man up probably well. Um now for this and these there's actually a reason, good reason now. Um basically the talcum powder is for when when you've done your green fat when you're doing your greenifying of your face and your skin and your paint, you know. Um this is actually a technique what they actually use uh, basically what they do is they put it all over a pad or a brush and they just pat it on and it just and after that they just wipe it off it just makes it the makeup smooth so you can touch people and it not get on them basically so it's a really good tip so bear that in mind so I'm just gonna put this on here like that um, and basically it's just going to get messy so I'm sorry if I'm going to get it all over because I'm going to just just do this basically so just get it all over the place now you know when you're putting it all over your eyes do make sure you do close them because this is the bit where if it does get into your eyes it will sting that's what I learned over the past <laughs> so a bit more So, and also shut your mouth because it's really horrible when you taste it. It smells nice, but it just tastes horrible. Like that. Here we go. Just like this. A bit more over the eyes there. See, so yeah, I pretty much just got it all over me. <laughs> that's the beauty of it really and plus it also makes it look natural it makes it a part of you somehow you know it does actually look like your skin so that's the beauty of it I've worn this before to a fancy dress party and people have asked me how did you make your makeup smooth smooth whereas though I, when I touch you I don't get it on me 
and uh, when I first tell them they can't believe it that I've actually put talcum powder on my face to actually make it smooth and it does make your skin quite soft so it is really nice so and now the next It's messy. Just make sure that you've got everything covered under your chin, under your neck, you know, where your eyes are, where your nose is. And that's it, really. Um, Well, a little bit's come off my face. Uh, the one thing that also might happen is a little bit might come off your face. So that's the bit where you have to redo. So that might come to reopening the pack and just doing a bit of retouching and just powdering it again. It doesn't take long, trust me. It's basically just like that. Just as easy as that. Um, and then well, I've done that. There we go. <laughs> Losing things. <laughs> so now that's out of the way. Look at that messy. Um, just like I said, this is really messy. If you if you do put powder on your face after if you prefer to, I mean you don't have to but it just gives that fresher look and that more natural look. Um, just make sure that you've got like a towel or paper down or something because it does get quite messy. Um, and then wait a bit. Well, you don't necessarily have to, but I tend to just to make it, make sure it's nice and dry and all that. Um, put it in the bin, obviously. <sighs> Sorry, I'm a bit of a go slow today. Um, and now you get another one, a clean one, and you just basically wipe your face. Not too hard though because you don't want to just slightly go over your face just like that there you go you see what I mean by that natural finish it just gives that really nice finish smooth finish and and another thing about the um, foundation um, it is also important sorry I forgot to tell you that um, it does even your skin out so that does help to the um, bit where you get you know where you get dry spots on your skin it'll add that and stuff so it's going to look great <laughs> which is good because we all want to look great don't we when we're going on stage or we're going to a fancy dress or And there you go, basically. Um, I will now do the makeup in process, which is just a um, basically just these two colours right here, like a pale green and a white, and um, eyeliner and mascara and lip gloss. I know the lip gloss doesn't look green but um, I will give you a tip on how to make it green so it's just easy so basically um, what you do with the uh, lip gloss is get your water based paint and you take the lid off of it and you know the little brush just there just wipe it drag it only what not too much just a bit and then put it back into your lip gloss and your lip gloss inside should go green 
I know it doesn't look green but it does go green so it just makes it a bit easier instead of just putting the um, water base all over your you know lips whereas lip gloss you can just reapply it so that's good for one thing um, basically I'm just going to show you how to do your eyes so with the eye process what you do is you just take the green and just put it all over your eye just like this just like that I know you can't see it but mind you it might be me well, it might be the slide but just to put two or three layers on just like this just to highlight the eyes Sorry, I might do a little pose, like when I'm doing this. <laughs> it's just basically so I can see what I'm doing and see different angles so it looks right. So, and then you get the edge of the brush just here and you just put it through the white. And you just go like this. And that should just basically make it look even like that <laughs> you might, you don't have to do this, you might want to do this bit as well which is a really really good tip I've been given by a friend and it does work um, now I'm going to show you the eyeliner now you can also use the eyeliner to go over your eyebrows but I don't really prefer to do that but I think I might do it anyway so basically it's better if you just take one of these screw ones like that and you just be, piece it over your eye just like this and go like that it just helps with your eye a bit more just to highlight it so might not be as easy with this one but as I've just discovered um, just basically put your eyeliner on as normal what you do as you normally do you know and also if you want to do your um, eyebrows I really prefer not to do mine because I'm a bit crap at doing it to be honest with you so um, so just do it as normal as you normally do if you're putting makeup on normally and now for the um, mascara put that on normally as well Like that. And the other eye. Sorry if I'm boring you guys. <laughs> 
I just like to concentrate on not say anything when I'm putting my mascara on because if I could talk when I'd put my mascara, I do smudge it. <laughs> so. But that's just me being a perfectionist. And there it is. And uh, last but not least is your lip gloss. Like I said, the lip gloss. Um, basically, just put it in. I'll show you. Like this lot. So you, so you get your water-based paint, and what you know, what you do is you just get your lip gloss, and you just slide it in, and put it back in, and you should get that. So that sorry I'm sorry that you know and you just basically put it on your lips just like that and it should just get the natural clear green about it if you know what I mean And there it is, that's the makeup done. Um, basically all you need to do now is just, well what I like to do is I like to let my hair down. So there we go, I'm to see the best result. When you, I like to see the best result when I'm getting my hair down. So there we are. This might look a bit messy guys, I'm really sorry. So just basically get your hair down like this so it's looking a bit messy but you know messy yet sexy <laughs> and there you go it's all done There you go, there that look great. <laughs> well guys, thank you for um giving me the chance and watching my tutorial and I'll um out to hear your comments and um feedback and I hope to hear from you. Thank you.